For Frenchmen, like me, England was always the birthplace of small dynamic labels like Steve, Rough Trade, Virgin, a long time ago, of course, just to name a few. And today we have Creation, the king of the indie charts with House of Love, but also bands like James, The Pastels, The Weather Prophets, Felt, Jazz Butcher, or My Bloody Valentine. Alan McGee, the label's boss, is Scottish, and he has a very heavy accent that makes me sound almost like an Oxford graduate. <laughs> He wants to look like the Bob Dylan of the 60s and feels that while music is important, there is one other indispensable ingredient to life, love, or as we say in France, l'amour. That's why he nicknamed his label the label of love, le label de l'amour, creation. It started actually as a club called uh, The Living Room and uh, we put on a lot of bands, you know, like uh, The Mary Chain, Micro Disney, The Loft, it became The Weather Prophets, The Primals. And we put on a lot of these people and then like, we just got to know them and most of these people never had record deals or anything and it was one of these things that we were running a successful club so why couldn't we run a successful label, you know? And I was sure that, you know, we would, you know, balls it up but it kept going and it just kept on getting down so it's quite weird. Having made a name for himself as a successful talent scout, McGee gets dozens of cassettes every day and in amongst them has found the future stars of his label. House of Love, for example. It was more Alan McGee. It was more... Uh, I'd sort of become aware of the... after, uh, in about 1985, of, of, of the Jesus and Mary Chain and the sort of impact they were making um, through the media. And, I, and it's just, it was just, just seemed very exciting, and I sort of found out that he was involved with them, and, um, and it was always, I always had him in the back of my mind when, when I got the group together uh, the following year, that I'd, you know, he was someone that would be a good person to get involved with. What does Guy make of the label of love tag McGee has been promoting of late? That's exactly what it is. You know, um, that is exactly his attitude and, 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 it, and it, is, it is true to the bone. I think it's successful because it has consistently produced good groups. This year, you know, we've obviously had success with our album and um, the last couple of singles that we've done, um, uh, but, but, but um, other groups like, like My Bloody Valentine are, are, are selling a lot of records, pulling a lot of people, because they're a good group. Even though the indie labels release 70% of the records to come out in England each year, they only represent 20% of the sales. But being on an indie label has its advantages, as another creation signing, My Bloody Valentine, told Rapido. You can see how so many bands have gone. I mean, a lot of bands signed to major labels, but not, not hardly any of them get anywhere. You know, it's, in this country, it's not that necessary to be on a big label. I think for America, Europe in general, you know, it, it's no real advantage to be on an independent label. But in this country, there is a huge advantage, mainly because you've got a lot of access to the media that you wouldn't have on a major label. All the independent charts, radio shows, people, various TV shows, you know what I mean, magazines, everything. Losing the Jesus and Mary chain was a severe blow to creation. Just as they seemed to have found a strong replacement in House of Love, the band announced it had signed with Fontana for a small fortune. A move that doesn't seem to embitter McGee too much. I can understand that, you know, Dire Straits in this country sell 3.2 million and the Smiths sold 180,000. And I mean, there's got to be something to do with, you know, distribution services, you know, that there's, that, there's that degree of difference. So, I don't know, you know, I think independently the cartel will get stronger, but... And I think creation will get stronger. But I mean, we're only four years old. I mean, Atlantic and people like that and Electra, who, like, you know, are basically my heroes. Uh, you know, they've been going for 40, 30 years and things like that, so, you know, we'd only been going through four years, you know. 